Have you ever wondered what the airflow over your wing looks like during various phases of flight, like landings, takeoffs, and stalls? Well, I've been really curious about what the airflow is over my Skywagon wing, so I tufted the wing and tail surfaces with this white yarn so you could see the flaw, then put a GoPro up on the wing so we can record it all. Full disclosure is this wing has been modified from stock. It already had the sportsman cuff installed when I bought it. So my baseline numbers are for the wing with the cuff. I just put on wing X stall extensions, which add about 36 inches of extra wing, 18 inches a side, which is quite a bit of wing area and equates to a pretty big increase in overall lift. So let's go run a series of airborne tests and see what the results are. Baseline stalls resulted in a mild AOA break except flaps 40, which experienced a hard break. The clean configuration developed a stable mush, or descent, most of the time. The Wing X modified clean wing has a slight break, but not a full stall AOA break. And afterwards, for all of the flap settings, the inter airplane entered a mush and descent of about 300 to 500 feet per minute with pitch oscillations. In all cases, pay close attention to the airflow. Stall series is going to do a clean stall. It's all about 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and 40 degrees. And we'll see what happens. This is a clean wing, first one. Baseline clean at 45 miles an hour, or 42 knots. Adding the wing X clean was at 44 miles an hour, followed by pitch oscillations. The boundary layer detachment can be seen throughout the span of the flight. Flaps 10, baseline was at 50, modified at 42. Okay, flaps 20. Flaps 20, baseline was at 38 miles an hour and modified at 40. Flaps 30. Flaps 30, the baseline was at 35 miles an hour and modified at 40. Flaps 40, that's 40 miles an hour right now. Flaps 40, the baseline was at 30 miles an hour and modified at 36. Overall takeoff and landing distance with modified mean improved performance by about 23%. Takeoff and landing speeds improved by about 17%. And remember, this is my airplane at very light weights in Ford CG. Your mileage may vary. So what I think is happening is that with the addition of the wing X wing extensions, the wing has so much lift now that it actually changes the critical angle attack of the wing overall. And the tail and elevator don't have enough pitch authority to actually command uh, uh, more than a critical angle attack. So it creates a stall. And I find that pretty fascinating, pretty interesting. So the next project is, is uh, we're going to actually put this airplane in annual and then we're going to do 
uh, add VGs to it. And we'll run the test again and see how that works. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.